Hello friends, it's Rachel Archelaus here and I've done another intuitive art drawing for you today. This one is, I asked the question, how can, what is the easiest way to deepen our intuition? Um, and honestly, I was quite surprised at how many colors showed up because you think easy, you think simple, um, and I was really shocked in a good way. So the first color that showed up was this underlying red, right? So all of these like squiggles, that was the first thing to come. And red to me is action. So it reminded me of like what we do during a day. Like if we were snails and we loved a trail, we would probably leave a trail that kind of looked like that. Um, especially me, I'm kind of all over the place and um, I do things very non-linearly. And so maybe that's part of this puzzle. So letting your natural flow guide you is a really good way to deepen your intuition. Um, being a taskmaster and trying to knock off every single to-do list in the order you write it down. Like I'll show you my, my current to-do list here, right? Some things are, are, scratched off. This was actually from Tuesday and I'm continuing it today. Some things are scratched off. I've added things. I'm not completing them in order. And so having your to-do list look like this <laughs> is an easy way to help you deepen your intuition because you're not forcing yourself out of the natural flow of your energy, which is part of your intuition. Uh, the second thing that came up were these kind of reddish brown little areas here and that is um, grounding, a grounding color for me, but it probably means taking a moment to pause and check in. Check in with your energy, really connect with your energy and see if what you're doing is in alignment. So go for a walk or just pause and stretch or go and lay down and cuddle with your cat or do a little meditation. Break up your day so that you're not just going on autopilot because autopilot is like the opposite of intuition. You don't want to be vacant. You want to be embodied and engaged. And last, well not lastly, but lastly of the colors that are not gray is this orange here. And see how the orange is going through all of the brown? Well, orange is a mental color, and so you want to align your thinking with being grounded. So you don't want to think too much from a reactionary mind. You don't want to deal with crisis um, and just respond without really getting grounded in your energy. You want to ground and then think, which is really, really, really important. So cool that our drawings show us these amazing insights, isn't it? And then lastly, finally, is all of this gray, which is actually my intuition color. So it's just saying that intuition lies on all of this. So your intuition is never apart from you. It's just a matter of connecting with it more. So by being aware of that, by letting yourself flow in your day and your actions, by thinking after you've done some grounding, you're definitely going to um, deepen your intuition without even focusing on that. Like, so you don't have to go meditate for an hour to deepen your intuition. You can do it just by being more aware of how you go through your day. So I hope this was helpful. And if you like intuitive art, but you've never done it before, you can go to a free class at intuitiveartacademy.com, intuitiveartacademy.com. And next week, which is the week after Christmas, we're having a little sale on the certification. So stay tuned for that if you want to become a certified intuitive artist. I will share more details with you very soon. So lots and lots of love, everyone. I hope you have fun deepening your intuition.